A global investigation known as the Pandora Papers sheds new light on how elites use their inner circles of lawyers and financial institutions to offshore their money and avoid paying taxes. More than 11.9 million confidential files, more than 600 journalists and 150 outlets, plus two years of reporting in 117 countries, found offshore deals and assets of more than 100 billionaires, 30 world leaders and hundreds of public officials. Top tax havens include London and the United States. The files suggest South Dakota shelters billions of dollars of wealth linked to individuals accused of financial crimes. So this is, uh, this is big stuff. Obviously, the wealthy use their connections to hide their assets to pay less in taxes than they ought to. Uh, I mean, this is a criticism that even you know, my people, the libertarians, mm -hmm. make of, of the more confusing the tax laws are, the better the, the wealthy are able to, you know, to, 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 not, to not suffer the consequences of those laws. Right, and you're going to have a lot of people shrugging and saying, oh, um, I, I knew this, the rich right. and powerful hide their money. But what's extremely important about these revelations is the role of London and the United States in, in sheltering this, this tax money because what the common understanding of, of offshoring is is that it gets moved off to the Bahamas, to Panama, uh, to, to Ireland even if you're going to move into the, the EU. And it's the, it's the United States and, and Great Britain that are having their tax base eroded as a result of these, these global billionaires and, and tax cheats moving their money all over the place. No, it turns out South Dakota, Delaware, London, uh, a lot of, and, and we were talking earlier about real estate. Real estate plays a huge role in this. These are now becoming centers of tax avoidance. And that is, is both a harrowing thing, but also, a, uh, but, but also hopeful, because we know where South Dakota is. Like I Jen, think. Jen, yeah, well, somewhere up in yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, roughly, roughly that area. It's, it's the one below North Dakota, ah, I'm pretty there sure. There we go. Next to East Dakota. Janet Yellen can find it. Like, <laughs> so she can find this money. So it, it, it's now, it's, it's a matter of will uh, more than it is a matter of complexity at this point. Right. So yeah. What, I, what, would, what would the kind of libertarian right be comfortable with in, in, in tracking this money down? Yeah, that's what, she, that's what we should find out. I, I think, uh, well, I think there is a, a, a particularly the, yeah, the, the right, there's a new um, hostility to, to elites. We were talking about this mm -hmm. earlier. Um, it, you know, if you say you don't want to frame it as we need to take, you know, take wealth from the wealthy. I, I think in some ways the, you know, the tax the rich misses the point. I, the, the left is very animated about just actually confiscating wealth mm -hmm. from wealthy people. Yes. Um, I, I'm not particularly animated by that, to be totally honest. I actually, I don't care if wealthy people have more money. Um, I, I, but I do want poor people to have more money. I want them to be better taken care of. So if we need to, I, I, these people are, are, are getting around the law and, and, keep, and keeping money, and we're going to use that to actually do some good for people, then that can be a winning message if it's just, you know, we need to have some kind of communist liquidation of the people who, who are productive and have lots of money. That I'm not on yeah. board, but. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're anywhere near that kind of li <laughs> liquidation. Uh, but we know how this operates. And it's, it, it, I'm also, I don't, I don't know if we'll ever discover this, but it's an interesting question of how this, how this got out. You know, was was it a was it one whistleblower who had access to this data, or is this some type of intelligence operation? Right. That where where the where either the United States or or someone else, an, a faction of a, an intelligence operation that that is working kind of on behalf of policymakers who who want this information out out in the public. If if you notice, we haven't heard anything about the investigation into the leaking of. The, the ProPublica tax documents, right. you know, the Jeff Bezos and, and the others. Now, I'm glad that that information is out there, but the, uh, the NSA and the FBI have shown that if they want to find a whistleblower, if they want to find a leaker, it's, it's pretty difficult nowadays, given, given the capacity of the surveillance state to successfully cloak your identity and, and leak documents. And, and leakers should understand that. Right, that, that the power of the surveillance state is almost well, it's, omnipotent. It, it's not well, difficult yeah. to leak documents. It's difficult to do it and, and get away with it. Yes, it's, it, it right. and, and retain that anonymity. In some ways, the the technology is such that we're it, it's 
always, I think it's probably harder to keep secrets or that the wealthy mm -hmm. and the powerful want to keep. I think it's probably harder to do that than it ever has been. Mm -hmm. But then there is also an entire apparatus to hunt down people who share the secrets. So it's, it's both, right. actually. Right. And so if they haven't caught those people who did it, and I don't want them to, I, you know, I, I want people to be able to leak information, but it suggests that it's a possibility that it was an intelligence operation. And, that, and there's a reason that they haven't been, you know, that we haven't heard peep. Right about you know the the breadcrumbs of the investigation. It, it may be that one call was made, and so, you know what? Don't worry about where that came from. <laughs> like there's there may be you know factions that want that information out in the public for particular policy goals. That would be an exciting kind of uh, spy movie type twist if the government was behind the. <laughs> but where would you send it if you were going to do it? You right. would send it to like the Pandora paper, you know, Panama Papers types, uh, ProPublica, those types of those types of operations. Yeah. And they and it's not to say that they're complicit in that in that because they don't necessarily know. You know, it just comes in through secure drop. Here's a file. Oh, look at that. Yep. Jeff Bezos tax documents. <laughs> and or a roadmap to executing the, you know, a multi-billion dollar global tax evasion scheme. Look at that. Great. So the offshore trail stretches across Africa, Latin America, and in Asia. In Pakistan, an ally of Prime Minister Imran Khan allegedly contacted an offshore provider in Singapore about investing $33.7 million. Prime Minister Khan took to Twitter saying, quote, we welcome the Pandora Papers exposing the ill-gotten wealth of elites accumulated through tax evasion and corruption and laundered out to financial havens. He also vowed to investigate all citizens mentioned in the Pandora Papers and to take appropriate action if any wrongdoing is established. I am sure they're going to get right on that. They're oh, going to have their yeah. best men working in shifts until they get to the very bottom of this scandalous situation. Absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> we heard you loud <laughs> yes. and clear. We, they'll, and then they'll put up a giant uh, mission accomplished yeah. banner and everyone will, will, sleep, uh, will sleep well at night. No, they will catch one person. They'll catch one person. Mm -hmm. Some fall guy. Yes. <laughs> and they'll do... They'll get sentenced to 30 years, and six months later, they'll be out. Yes, time, time served or not. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow on Rising, we have another great show planned. Jennifer Holdsworth Karp and Rachel Bovard are with us for Team Rising, and more friends of the show will weigh in on the news of the day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. We will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>